Gruesome new information tonight in the trial of a man accused of killing three people on the 4th of July back in 2017. The jury saw some violent evidence. Prosecutors say connects Jerry Chambers to a drive-by shooting and deadly car accident that took place in downtown Savannah. WSAV's Kelly Antonacci spent the day inside that Chatham County courtroom, and she's live now with more on that. Hello, Kelly. Hey, Joanne, a lot of back and forth this afternoon between the prosecution and the defense. At one point, the judge said sidebar meetings got too intense, and he asked both parties to refrain themselves for the rest of the trial. Jerry Chambers showed up in all white this afternoon to, sh to watch the prosecution show evidence. Drone video and pictures from Savannah Police Department show the bloody aftermath of what happened in 2017. Police say Chambers was driving a white SUV when it crashed on a crowded street in downtown Savannah. Two passengers died and a pedestrian also died. Witnesses say he was trying to save others when it happened. I didn't really have time to do much. Um, but just as soon as I saw it, like before I could react or do anything, I was, the crash happened and I was on the ground. So the two sides started arguing when the defense said pictures of the crash were too graphic to show in court. In the end, though, the judge did allow most of them to be displayed. Chambers could face the life sentence if the jury finds him guilty, and the trial continues tomorrow. Live in Savannah, Kelly Antonacci, WSAV News 3, on your side.